Hi guys, this has to be one of the weirdest videos I've ever seen. Brexit hard man Steve Baker apologises to the Irish government and to the European Union. Yes, you've heard that right. In this clip he was speaking on a panel alongside the Northern Ireland Secretary of State, Chris Heaton-Harris and Tory peer Jonathan Kane of the Northern Ireland office. They appeared on this panel to talk about the Northern Ireland Protocol and the impact it's having on trade east-west and north-south. Have a look at this and tell me what you think. But the thing I want to add, as one of the people who uh, perhaps uh, acted with the most ferocious determination to get the UK out of the EU, I, I think we have to bring some humility to this situation. And it's with humility that I want to accept and acknowledge that I and others did not always behave in a way which encouraged Ireland and the European Union to, to trust us to accept that they have legitimate interests legitimate interests that we're willing to respect because they do and we are willing to respect them and I'm sorry about that because relations with Ireland are not where they should be and we all need to work extremely hard to improve them and I, I know that we are doing so. Actually the demise of our late majesty gave us an opportunity to meet leading Irish figures and I said to some of them you know I am sorry that we did not always respect your legitimate interests and I hope they won't mind me saying I felt I could feel uh, the ice thawing a bit. Now let's give him the benefit of the doubt and he says here that he has apologised to the European Union and to the Irish government for the way that Brexiteers including himself have treated the EU and Ireland in the past that he now understands the value of the Northern Arm Protocol and the importance of the Good Friday Agreement. Um, now that he has this important role, he's a Minister for State for Northern Ireland. Um, this is probably his most senior position ever as a, me as a Member of Parliament. So maybe he's taking on this role um, and understanding the value of uh, what I said before, the, the Northern Ireland Protocol and the Good Friday Agreement. Once again, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt here, um, but it's important that actions follow words. It's not just words you're talking here, but you're actually going to follow this up with actions. Now, I have to put on my skeptical <laughs> remainer hat for a moment here, because why... Look, if um, Steve Baker is doing this out of the good of his heart, if he realizes the importance of the Good Friday Agreement and Northern Arm Protocol, then kudos to him. I'm not going to take that away from him. Um, it's a, a great step forward. Now, why, my question next is, why is he doing this? Um, it could be that the administration of Liz Truss understand the way the wind is blowing, that the union is coming to an end, especially when it comes to Northern Ireland. And there's no point in holding on to the union when it comes to Northern Ireland. Um, there's no benefit for the Conservative Party. There's no benefit for the British government here. And uh, maybe leading Brexiteers like Steve Baker realise that this is not a battle to fight. And instead, it makes sense just to allow Northern Ireland to slip away in, a, in for a better choice of words. So it's a more pragmatic approach he's taking to this. Um and it would fit into the Brexiteer narrative. The Brexiteers were never really interested in protecting the Union. They were interested in getting Britain, Great Britain, not so much Northern Ireland, but Great Britain out of the European Union. Um, their goal was to deregulate, to cut taxes, to protect the rich. And holding on to Northern Ireland wasn't part of their plan. If it came along too, fine, but it wasn't their goal. And this could be, as I said, Steve Baker taking a pragmatic approach to this, saying, to hell with Northern Ireland, we don't care about it. It doesn't serve my purposes, it doesn't serve the British government's purposes, and it doesn't serve the purposes of Brexiteers. Brexiteers don't care about the Union. Scotland can go if they want although there are more benefits to holding on to Scotland than Northern Ireland, obviously. But um, this is not going to go down well with unionists in Northern Ireland, especially the likes of the DUP and the TUV. So it'd be interesting to hear their reaction to this. 
but um, I think Steve Baker is looking at the future and saying, look, the union is pretty much over. Let, let us have good relations with Ireland and the European Union over Northern Ireland, um, just on the issue of Northern Ireland. And um, there's no point fighting the Brexit fight uh, when it comes to Northern Ireland. This is my take from uh, what he said. Let me know in the comment section, sections, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.